the top 10 worst college majors in 2022. That is what this video is gonna be all about. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. And the best possible thing you could do is share this video with somebody else who needs to see it. So this list is based off of an analysis by bankrate.com, where they took the median income that people make after getting a degree, the unemployment rate, and the percentage of people who have to get an advanced degree. So getting an advanced degree in some cases can be a bad thing because of the fact that people have to get a master's master's or a doctorate in order to get hired, right? It's not something where it's an option for them. It's something where they have to get it. All right, so let's jump right in with number 10 on the list, which is going to be film, video, and photographic arts. Now, the median income you see here is gonna be $43,000 a year. The unemployment rate is going to be 4.8%, and the percentage with an advanced degree is 19%. So yeah, not the most amazing numbers. Uh, this is also another one of those skills where you absolutely, under no circumstances, have to go to college in order to learn it. And this is typically true for most art-related degrees. A much better use of your time would be just moving to a place that has a bunch of different artists and then collaborating with them and making art on your own. So you get to learn from them, they get to learn from you, etc. And if you did that for four years and then maybe actually just made money on the side, you would be in a much, much better position than if you spent $80,000 going to college for four years. And I talked about this before on my channel, but I had a friend, Sam, who moved from Lebanon, came to the US with nothing, started a photography business in Las Vegas, and quickly became one of the top wedding photographers in Las Vegas, right? He had zero formal training, it was all self-taught. He did collaborate with other photographers and artists and he took some online courses, but that's all. University is an incredibly formal way of learning education and art is extremely abstract and it's constantly changing and there's just no way that university can keep up with that. The next one on the list, number nine, is in a similar category and that's going to be fine arts. Now, according to Google, the definition of fine art is creative art, especially visual art, whose products are to be appreciated primarily or solely for their imaginative aesthetic or intellectual content. Now for this one, the median income is $41,000 a year. The unemployment rate is 3.6% and the percent with an advanced degree is even higher at 26%. So yeah, this one kind of the same thing. You'd be much better off creating art on your own, maybe going out and starting your own business. And after four years, there's a good chance your business would actually be getting off the ground and you'd be making good money from it or even trying to get employed as an artist. So for instance, uh, UX or UI design design is a pretty good option. A lot of the people I've consulted with that want to get paid as an artist, get a job as an artist, have found success in UX, UI design. And another one I see a lot of people having success in is digital marketing. Now, there's more of an artistic side to digital marketing, and then there's more of an analytical side, and you can kind of choose which pathway you want to go down. I've interviewed several people on the channel who have gone into digital marketing, and my friend Seth actually has trained thousands of people on how to get into digital marketing, and he has literally thousands of reviews, hundreds of video reviews, and you can look at his Instagram as well. And this is something you can get into without a college degree and without any experience. And digital marketers will typically make something like forty to $50,000 their first year. They can get up to like $70,000 a year their second year. And then three to four years in, they can make it to that six-figure level. So if you decide to go down the digital marketing route, by the time your friends are graduating from college with $40,000 in debt, you might actually be making six figures a year. Now, Seth does have a free training that you can access and it'll be down in the description as well as the pinned comment below if you wanna see if digital marketing is a good choice for you. All right, next one on the list, number eight is going to be music. So music is one of those things where unless you are in the like the top 99.99 percentile, um, you're like a world-renowned classical guitarist and the only way for you to get training from somebody who's just a little bit better than you is to go to Juilliard and get training from some professor. So unless you're in an incredibly niche situation like that, like a one in a million type situation, going to college to get a degree for something like this is not going to be worth it. Now with this one, you can expect to make about $40,000 a year. The unemployment rate is 2.9% and the percent of people with an advanced degree is a whopping 45%. So yeah, those are some pretty scary numbers. Uh, typically one that you would not want to go into unless you're in a very specific situation. Next one on the list is going to be studio arts. And if you're not sure what this is, I don't blame you. According to Google, 
Google Studio Art is a college or university program that allows students to take classes in painting, photography, graphic design, illustration, sculpting, printmaking, art history, or drawing. And with this one, you'd expect to make about $36,000 a year. The unemployment rate is 2.9%, and a whopping 30% of people go on to get an advanced degree. Same thing as the other artistic-related degrees here. You would be much better off just learning on your own or collaborating with other people who are passionate about the same thing. Next one on the list, number six is going to be counseling psychology. Now, psychology degrees at the bachelor's level are not very good at all. Psychology is studying, you know, the human brain, and it's probably the most complicated thing in the entire universe. So you're not gonna be able to get like a good job with just a bachelor's degree. You're gonna have to have minimum a master's degree. So there can be some pretty decent demand for people who go into psychology at the master's and doctorate level. However, at the bachelor's level, it is terrible. And so many people go into college thinking they can get a job in psychology with a bachelor's level psychology degree and 99.9% .9 of the time they are wrong. So with this one, you would expect to make about $41,000 a year. There's a 2.6% unemployment rate and a whopping 73% of people have to go on to get an advanced degree. The next one on the list is very similar and that is clinical psychology. Now in clinical psychology, you make a little bit more about $49,000 a year. However, there is a higher unemployment rate at 3.8% and a whopping 78% of people have to get an advanced level degree. So just keep this in mind. If you go into psychology, you have to know what you're getting yourself into. You know, don't get your bachelor's degree and then, and then make a Pikachu face when you realize you can't get a job, right? Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into here. Number four on the list is going to be composition and speech. And this focuses on communication theory and verbal communication principles. And I think this is another perfect example of something that you really can't get good at by going to college, right? If you want to get good at public speaking or, you know, be an expert on speech, that is something you need to practice in the real world. Learning all this theory and eclectic nonsense that was written by people who haven't even necessarily ever been great orators themselves is probably not going to help you that much. Now with this one, you can expect to make about $42,000 a year. There is a 4.9% unemployment rate and 30% of people have to go on to get an advanced degree. Next one on the list, number three is going to be drama and theater arts. Now the percentage of people who are able to successfully become actors is incredibly low. Hollywood is a ruthless industry. Uh, not very many people make it to the top. Um, it is kind of getting decentralized now because there's other alternative platforms that are popping up like Netflix, et cetera, but it's still super, super difficult to become a Hollywood star. But some people just want to work in theaters. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of people who want to work in theaters as well, and it's really difficult to break into that. And that's why you see these statistics like the average pay being $41,000 a year, the unemployment rate being 4.5%, and the percentage of people with an advanced degree at 31%. Next one on the list, number two, is going to be miscellaneous fine arts. So you had fine arts, and then you have miscellaneous fine arts? What What even is that? I don't know what the f that was. I'm, I'm not even gonna get into it, but all I can say about this one is it has an unemployment rate of 5.6%, which is higher than the unemployment rate for high school dropouts. Right, so let's just put this in perspective. People who get this degree have a higher unemployment rate than people who don't get a college degree or a high school diploma. And you can only expect to make about $38,000 a year as well. And on top of that, the percentage of people who have to get an advanced degree is 17%. But there is one degree that comes in even worse, and that is visual and performing arts. So this is typically where people do some sort of performance uh, that involves maybe their voice or movement in public in order to convey an artistic message. You might also call this one like modern art, very similar. And yeah, listen, I don't have any problem with artists. I love artists. I have lots of friends who are artists. You do not need to go to college to learn this stuff. And you see it with the numbers on this one, $35,000 a year, 3.6% unemployment rate, and 29% of people have to get an advanced degree. If you were Doctor Strange, there would be like 100 different alternative universes where you can learn visual and performing arts in you know thousands of different ways other than spending $80,000 and going $40,000 in debt. Please do not do that, all right? If you take one thing away from this video, 
you know, there's other ways for you to learn art and a lot of these different things. Now, if you want a really good option for people who are artistic and they want to, you know, have a career where they're doing artistic things, digital marketing is a phenomenal choice. And you can check out an interview that I did with Keyshawn. I'll put it like right up here. And Keyshawn was able to get a job in digital marketing at 19 years old. So he basically decided to skip college, get a job without any college or any experience in digital marketing. And he was successful. He was able to do that at 19, made about 50 thousand dollars in his first year and then in his second year he made over seventy thousand so i'll see you over there